Hi, uh, this is Ian, VK2HK, that's Victor Kilo 2, Hotel Kilo. I'm going to show you the MMDVM software that is now running my Yaesu DR1X System Fusion Repeater. Uh, I decided to put it on to DMR to try it and uh, it works uh, exceptionally well. Uh, the software I'm using, the MMDVM, is a software written by Jonathan, a G4KLX, and it is a great piece of software. Uh, I'm just going to go and select the uh, server that I will choose to uh, to run into the Brandmeister DMR network. And uh, in my case, I'm going to choose uh, VK. Uh, you'll have to excuse my uh, moving around. I'm doing this on my iPhone video. So give me one second and I will select it. Okay. Now on the right hand side, another box will come up showing you the linking information. Uh, you'll see a couple of things on the screen and uh, it takes a your second. This only happens once. Once it's operational, you don't have to worry about it again. I've just done this so you can see how it works. There you go. And uh, you will now see all the information relevant to uh, my repeater, including the fact that slots one and slot two is enabled. So it does see it as a proper repeater. It is a proper DMR repeater. So uh, what I'll do now is I will uh, go into where the repeater is uh, and uh, get uh, show you the repeater and the uh, uh, the Arduino and Zumboard and uh, and I will have a conversation with uh, Adrian VK4TUX and you will be able to hear the quality. Uh, that's the uh, 15 pin. As you can see, next to that is a 10 pin ACC connector uh, that's uh, hanging out the back of the uh, DR1X, and uh, the 15 pin connector is only uh, there's only four wires that are used uh, for the connection uh, into the into the Zum radio. Hotel Kilo, VK4 TUX. Good to hear. Well, the, uh, the audio sounds wonderful there on the uh, PR1X uh, MMDVM with the KR6ZUM MMDVM board there you've got there. It's a uh, fantastic audio. It's coming through perfectly. Very nice. And uh, just on the uh, MMDVM uh, board here myself, the same thing. Uh, the code's coming along now and uh, everything's sort of falling into place and it's uh, very good. But uh, no, it's really working well here and we're on uh, 505, which is the Australian uh, talk group. That's uh, uh, working well on the VK5051 uh, uh, server. VK2HK, uh, VK4TUX. Yeah, roger that, Adrian. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. Yeah. Um... And uh, I've uh, I've actually got the other uh, DR1X on the bench here, uh, ready to go when uh, when the news on board arrive. And I'll uh, so I'll get that going as quick as possible and install that into the Summersby repeater site. Uh, so that'll be a second one uh, operational, uh, not too far apart, and uh, and that'll be another good one for us to try. So. Uh, yeah, thanks for all your help with uh, with getting this going, Adrian. It's been uh, been very good, and uh, uh, we've got the first one done, so the second one should be a cinch, <laughs> so they say. Okay, Adrian, VK four TUX uh, VK two HK. Good again. But uh, the, the DR1X seems to lend itself very well to the application with the MMDVM for uh, DMR. So it's, uh, I'm very impressed. And as I said before, I think uh, listening to your system has been probably the best I've heard in the world so far. It's uh, absolutely perfect copy. No artifacts, no 
drop outs or anything like that. Uh, the only thing is, of course, with the long over, a little bit of uh, drop off in quality just due to the uh, clock reference, the uh, geo oscillator uh, reference here on the 12 megahertz uh, oscillator built into the geo and the new uh, the new add-on device from Greenpress uh, Gibbon and Power 6 ZUM uh, Jim uh, added on to the geo that provide an extend all here. Uh, that uh, that should work wonderfully. All right then, I'll uh, I'll just stand by here, uh, Ian, and uh, I think you're just doing a couple of things there, so I'll stand by. VK four Z X. Yeah, thanks, Adrian. Um, I'll get back to you in a minute. Uh, VK four T U X. VK two H K. Yeah. 